So in the first video, I forgot to show you guys the inside of the airplane. Um, I'm just going to show you the, the setup I have for all my components inside. Um, the canopy is actually, you can see this little pin sticking out here. It's held in very snugly with a little thing I set up. Um, this here is, is just an aileron uh, holder. It clips over these aileron wires. Um, so I take that off and pull it out. And then I can take the canopy off from there. And it looks like a huge, overwhelming jumble of wires. Uh, so I'm going to go over everything here. I have the battery plugged in, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug that first. Okay. <clears throat> So I'll start from the battery side. Um, the battery hooks up to the power and this power actually goes to <laughs> whoops, this power switch which I just ripped the wires out of um, so I'll have to resolder that. Um, anyway, this goes to the speed control up that direction and this wire splits off and one goes to the camera and one powers the video transmitter. This is my mini OSD from Hobby King with the GPS antenna. So I've got wires running to the GPS and I've also got wires running all the way back through the airplane to my uh, range link receiver back here. Um, these here are, are wires I haven't hooked up yet. Um, this goes to get a little tangle here. I'm sorry, that's the camera wires. These wires are ones I haven't hooked up yet. This goes to the pan and tilt system uh, for the camera. And that's it. There's no, there's no big mystery. It looks worse than it actually is. Um, this is mainly just the video setup and powering the GPS antenna here and the, the video transmitter. And all the other wires that come from the, the servos and the wings and the servos that mess with the tail um, and the wires that come from the speed control all come through the tail here and they hook into the receiver right in there. So that's it.